streaming every day. In this video, we will see how we can containerize a Node.js application with Docker and use Nginx as a reverse proxy. It gives us benefits such as portability, isolation and easy scalability. Now, uh, as you can see, we have two Docker hosts here. These are your physical or virtual machines where Docker is installed. And we have a Node.js app container. It represents the Docker container running your Node.js application on port 3000. And similarly, we have an Nginx container and that represents the Docker container running Nginx. And it listens on port 80. So it forwards HTTP requests to Node.js application on port 3000. So we need Docker and Nginx to be installed to achieve this task. I have already created a video to show you how you can install Nginx with mod module. You can check it out on my channel. Now let's check out the version of Docker that we are using. And I'm using the version 24.0.7. And this is by the way, a virtual machine Ubuntu 20.04. I have already created a folder called node.js app. All right, so uh, first things first, we will create a JavaScript file and I'm going to name it index.js. And in this JavaScript, you can write or uh, put in whatever you want to include in your app or whatever project you're working on. I am just simply writing hello from node.js app and yeah it's it's completely up to you however you want to use it next thing is to create a docker file now i will just write to nano docker file and inside i will just copy and paste from my clipboard so what we are doing we are making a working directory and we are running the npm install because we don't have the node just installed already and we are exposing the 3000 port and then the command to run the index.js file so you can modify it according to your need and yeah that's it now my nginx config file is configured according to the vault module so we need to change that and for that i will just go to that file which is in the folder nginx in the etc path and so this is, if you have watched my previous videos, you would know that this was in my Nginx file. I replaced them with these set of lines. So what it is doing is essentially proxy pass is, is specifying that Nginx should forward request to the node app on the port 3000. Proxy HTTP version tells us about the version of HTTP for better compatibility. Similarly, the proxy set header is uh, suggesting us to upgrade the header to enable WebSocket support and yeah, so on and so forth. So if you want to know specifics, what are these keywords specifying and what, does, what do they mean exactly, you have to check out the documentation for the Nginx and Nginx word model. So once done changing the Nginx config file content, then now we can build the Docker image. So for that, I will I will just write Docker build minus T and the name of my app node app dot. So yeah, it will build the image. It can take some time according to the lines that you have written in your docker file okay so we can clear this and the next thing i want to do is i want to create a docker compose file because so currently we are using one application but with multiple application it's better to use docker compose so with multiple containers essentially so i'll create my docker compose file and inside i will just write the version, the services, so I am creating two containers, one is node app, one is nginx and the node app is suggesting that it has this label, you can name it however you want and it's opening, exposing the ports 3000 and similarly nginx is exposing the port 80. 
So now we have successfully created an in index.js file, a docker file, and a docker compose file. All we have to do is now run the docker compose. So I'll just write docker compose down to make sure nothing else is running currently. And yeah, so everything is good now. We write docker compose up in detached mode and that's it. So once running you will see you can do docker ps and see if both the containers are running successfully. So yeah, that's that's it. All we have to do now is go to our local hosts at port 3000 and we can see that our node.js application is running and it should be showing us uh, hello node.js whatever we have written in our javascript file and there it is hello from node.js app so yeah that's all we have to do so you can add as many node.js applications as you want as many you want you can also create python applications sim uh, similarly yeah that's that's it if you have any questions you can write in the comments and of course you can change modify the in the index.js file according to your needs and yeah that's was that was all from this video and let me know if you like it and I will come up with some more content in my upcoming videos. And till then, stay safe.